Hey guys, it's David Diablo from MonsPaint.com and today I want to show you a really quick uh, tips on using templates. I made these for uh, a bar mitzvah, for Avi's bar mitzvah uh, 2018, so I made some really quick templates and um, first off I use uh, 3M General Spray Adhesive, number 45. This stuff works really well to adhere to the, the, the surface or whatever you're painting on. And then I place the stencils on there really, you know, straight or whatever and then flat and I make sure I press it really well. So there's really good direct contact. These are three different stencils that kind of like, you know, work skip together. But if you're doing an event, and uh, this is for a bar mitzvah, so these are really great to have uh, something unique. So if you have any in your area, definitely, uh, you know, try them out and uh, reach out because it always is great, uh, you know, source to like, you know, meet new people and get your work out there. So what I do is just fill in the stencil and as I'm doing it, what I'm doing is I'm pressing down on certain areas to make sure the contact is still tight, even though it's airbrushed on it. That way I get a super clean line. tape around here so there's not overspray if you don't want to. It's airbrushed graffiti, so it's overspray or whatever the look is for the party. That's kind of, it goes with the look, so I'm not really too worried about that. That's actually why it's actually a good thing to have like overspray so it looks more like spray airbrush and that's kind of what they want. go back over and kind of mist over the top of the corners. You can see you're kind of light and then I darken them in. And little points like the M, right? I'll kind of fade up so it doesn't pull back and I'll pull up the stencil. I'm doing this pretty fast. You can go slow and actually the slower would be better. To try to like do a soft layer and then fill it in again. So bam. There was a template and then you can lift it up. I usually do it from the corner slowly. And then lift it up. And you have Avi's Bar Mitzvah, nice and clean, other than the outline. Um, but I did that intentionally. So you can add like a different splatter, airbrush, spray paint, like bam. Look at that and actually give a closer look. I like adding these little dots and circles to really break up the uh, hardness of the stencil. So it's more of a freehand look. I always start with one dot, two, three. I just do three. It's a nice, even number. Well, not even, but it's a nice, you know, threes, pair, whatever. That's how I see it. And then I'll do like one dot, two, two. and then I'll do two. I'll do in between the threes. If I do three or whatever, I feel like a line. Just showing the direction of where everything's going. And then if you want, use a bright color, like a yellow. to highlight the name. And see how it's a transparent color? So you can even go over the blue and it'll still be blue. Because transparent means it's, you can see through it, it's translucent. So 
So we have a mixture, and when you go over yellow, I mean blue with the yellow, it makes like a greenish color. So it, it's like, in a way, you have like three different colors there. And then you can dry it. Blow dryer. And uh, I'm doing it super fast. And this is actually the real time, pretty much how I do it, even though I do a little faster. I could make it super crazy and fancy, but that's not really how I do it. And I want to help you and show you how to make money and how to airbrush a uh, quick design at the same time. So, I mean, if you want to do all that, you can. You don't have to. Swirl to really kind of jazz it up. But there you go, here's a quick design for a bar mitzvah, and um, hopefully I uh, helped you out and you learned, you know, a couple things uh, from the design. So if any questions, let me know. I appreciate it guys, and uh, check in with me again. I'm always here to share new things and little tips and everything uh, I can. Um, I answer all my DMs as much as I can, I answer all my comments, and I don't know if there's not many artists out there that do that, so I really want to let you guys know I really appreciate you following me. And uh, just check in for another video, okay?